Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the components needed to safely flat tow your 2018 GMC Canyon. So there's going to be five main components that are going to be required to flat tow our Canyon. The first one is going to be our base plate. The base plate is going to mount directly to the frame of our truck so we have a nice solid connection point for our tow bar to hook up to. And the next component is going to be our tow bar. It's going to hook to the base plate as well as the motor home so we have a solid connection point. Then we'll have our safety cables. Those are going to be a secondary safety device in case anything were to happen with the tow bar. This is going to prevent our canyon from continuing on down the road. Then we're going to have our braking system. And this is going to allow our canyon to slow itself down or stop itself so we're not purely relying on the motor home to slow it down since we're adding so much weight to it. And finally, we're going to have our wiring, which is going to allow us to transfer the signals from our motorhome to our canyon, so we have a mirror image going on. So if we're changing lanes, stopping, or anything like that, everybody behind us can see and know exactly what's going on. Now, there is one more component on our canyon that I highly recommend, but it's not required. And it's going to be the Roadmaster Automatic Battery Disconnect. Now, when we flat to our canyon, it is required that we disconnect the battery, but I don't think any of us really want to have to go under the hood and disconnect it manually each time we want to drive or tow our vehicle. So that battery disconnect is just going to make it a lot easier because we can simply push a button rather than having to get under the hood. When it comes to base plates, there are going to be several different options for our canyon. Right here we have the Blue Ox base plate kit with removable arms. But keep in mind the main deciding factor for your base plate should be is it going to be compatible with the tow bar that you want to use. Personally, I really like the Roadmaster Direct Connect base plates because they're really easy to use. The arms come out and it has a really clean appearance when we're not towing. Now, when it comes to tow bars, there's even more options since they're not vehicle specific. Again, you just want to make sure that the tow bar you choose does work with the base plate you have. And here we have a Blue Ox tow bar working with our Blue Ox base plate. But there are adapters so you can make a Blue Ox tow bar work with a Roadmaster base plate and vice versa. But the biggest thing you really need to pay attention to when it comes to your tow bar is the weight capacity. Our Canyon has a 6,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating, so we want to make sure that our tow bar is rated at least at that. I really like the Roadmaster Nighthawk All-Terrain Tow Bar for a few different reasons. It's going to hook up directly to the Roadmaster Direct Connect base plate, extremely easy, and it's going to come with safety cables as well as the electrical cable to get everything hooked up. So that's a few less things that we're going to have to worry about buying. A nice feature of the Nighthawk is on each arm here, there's actually an LED strip that illuminates whenever we have our taillights on our motorhome. So this area in between our motorhome is illuminated. So when we're driving down the road, people will know that we're flat towing and somebody's not just tailgating us. But one of the most important things about the Nighthawk is that it's actually rated at 10,000 pounds. So that's more than enough to handle our canyon. Regardless of what tow bar you choose, it is important that it's going to be nice and level when we're towing our canyon. Now obviously the base plate may sit higher or lower than the hitch on your RV, so you may need to pick up a high-low adapter. We need to figure out how much of a rise or drop we're going to need, so we need to take a few measurements. We want to measure from the ground to the center of the attachment point on our base plate, and you want to make sure that it's nice and level where you park your vehicle before you measure. So we'll measure from the ground to the center of the attachment point, and right here, we're getting about 24 inches. And we're gonna move over to our hitch on the motorhome. And again, we're gonna measure from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. And over here, I'm getting 18 inches. So my base plate is actually six inches higher than my hitches on my motorhome. So that's why we went with a six inch rise on our high-low adapter. And you can see that our tow bar is nice and level. Now, as far as the wiring goes, there's going to be three basic types of wiring that's going to be available. We'll have the bulb and socket kit, which is going to be a separate bulb that we're going to have to mount inside our taillight housing. Then we'll have the magnetic light kit, which is going to be a separate light that we're going to mount somewhere on our canyon. And then we'll run a wire all the way to the front to the back of our motorhome. And finally, we're going to have the diode kit, which is not going to change the outward appearance of our truck at all, but we're going to have to splice in and use our factory lights to transfer those signals. I recommend the Roadmaster High Power Diode Wiring Kit because we can see that it works. It's a permanent installation. We don't have to mess with it after it's installed. Plus, the way I look at it is it's a lot easier to repair a wire than it is to repair a taillight housing if you misdrill the hole for the bulb and socket. 
As far as supplemental braking systems go, there's gonna be two basic types. We're gonna have a permanently installed type and a portable type. Now clearly, the portable type means that we're gonna be able to take it in and out of our canyon. The benefit to it is, is that we can easily set it up if we have several different vehicles that we tow behind our motorhome, or if you trade your vehicle in a lot and you get a new one every so often, it's gonna be a lot easier to put that braking system in because we can just simply take it out. But the downside to it is, is that we are gonna to have to set it up each time that we wanna to tow. And once we get there, we're gonna to have to take the system out, move it out of the way so we can drive. I personally don't feel like dealing with that. I wanna be able to hook up my truck and hit the road. So I'd want more of a permanent solution. And when it comes to permanently installed braking systems, there's still gonna be two different types. And that's gonna be because it's gonna depend on what kind of brakes you have on your motorhome. If your motorhome has air brakes, there are braking systems specifically made for that. And I personally recommend the Air Force One because it's gonna be a proportional system and work directly off the air brakes. If your motorhome doesn't have air brakes, I would recommend the Stay and Play Duo. It's still gonna be proportional and it's gonna be a permanently installed braking system. So we're not gonna to have to worry about setting it up and we'll have that smooth braking action. And all the components that we just went over are found here at eTrailer.com. But that'll finish up your look at all the components needed to safely flat tow your GMC Canyon.